we are going to talk about the purpose of the shift key. Shift does two things. Most importantly, it helps us make a capital letter. If I want to write my name, Marissa McQueenie, I need to make three capital letters. First, I need a capital M, so I type Shift M. I need to hold the Shift key down and press M at the same time. Shift M. Then I type the rest of my name. Marissa. The other use for the shift key is to change up here, to change from using a one to an exclamation point. If I do not press shift, it uses the bottom row of numbers or the bottom row of symbols like this. One, three, five. Up on the screen, one, three, five. If I use the shift key, it will write something different. Shift one, exclamation point. Shift three, that's the number sign. Shift five, that makes a percent. Up on the screen, we see exclamation point, number, and percent. So guys, uh, after watching the video, I hope you learn. I hope you learn that uh, how to use the shift key in your keyboard. Now you know that you have two buttons of shift key: one under the enter button and one under the caps lock button. Now, after we learned this. We're going to open up Microsoft Office Word. So this is a classwork, guys. Don't confuse yourself. It's not a homework. Today, we're going to learn a classwork activity. You can practice this at home. Practice. Yes, guys. All right. This is not a homework. Because I've got lots of students like, Miss, you posted a video. Is it a homework? No, it's not. So today... We're going to do this in class. Every class of year three, every day of this week, we will have to make a pattern using shift key. And uh, while you're using shift key, so you're going to hold down the button of shift and press one of these like this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm pressing shift while pressing on 876, 876. See? If I press 876 without the shift key, this would happen. 876, all right? So I don't want to show the 876. I want to show the symbols under 876 on top of them. All right? See, that's what happens. I'm making a pattern. In your textbook, as you can see, page 9, you've got a robot. Can you do that? Can you make a robot using... Um, uh, using these, uh, look at what I'm going to do now, 876, and tap, 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 876, oh, without shift key, all right, see, I'm going to make this, see, 876, oh, come on, use shift key, Miss Rima, tap, 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 I'm going to make like, um, look at this, I'm making a, a, a shape, Let's make a rectangle shape. Shift key, 876, 876. Do you see that? I'm using shift key to make this cute rectangle. Oh, I'm good. Now, if I want to type my name here, it will move, all right? Be careful. Rima, Rima, shift R. See? Now, what happened is this. You're going to... Erase. See, I did something really cool. Can you do that, year three? Let's try it in class. Let's try to make patterns, make shapes. If you can draw the robot in page nine, that would be perfect. 
uh, I, I'd rather do the robot at home. Try to do it at home whenever you're free. I use the shift key and make patterns using symbols from those numbers in your keyboard. From 1 to 0, you've got many symbols over there. All right. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned something new. Enjoy, guys. Bye-bye. Please like this video and subscribe.